Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. Today I will show you how you can make a plastic canvas bag. It's not a crocheted bag but we use, like its name, plastic canvas to make this bag. Um, we will need 2 millimeter uh, rope yarn um, and I thought it was pretty nice to make it in two colors and change it in an irregular way between beige and green like this. Then you will need D-rings and a lock. And we will work uh, with a darning needle and you need of course a scissor. So the plastic canvas is the basis for our bag. Um, yes, I'm taking the measure here. Unfortunately, it's not on camera, but it's 20 centimeters for me. And then I just cut these 20 centimeters out of the plastic canvas sheet like this. And cut off the top as well. And then you have the back of the bag and the flap. And in this way, we will cut out all the further parts as well. In detail, that means that we will need the front of the bag. So let's take the measure first again. My bag is like 34 centimeters high, this part of the bag then 20 centimeters wide. This is the back and the flap like this. Then I have the front part for the back like this. This part has to be 20 centimeters wide as well, of course. And it's Round about, let me check, 15 centimeters high or 14 and a half. Then we have the sides like this. They have to be, well, they are six and a half centimeters wide and they have to be in the same height like the front, like this. And the last part is the bottom of the back. Like this. And it has, of course, it has to be as wide as the back, as wide as the front and as deep as the sides, like this. And then you have all parts that you need. So check again the measures, 20 centimeters wide and six and a half centimeters deep. We start the pattern in hole number 8, like you can see here, then poke in in hole number 7, go to the diagonal left, poke in in hole number 6, go to the diagonal left again, poke in in hole number 5, go to the top again, add 4 further parallel stitches to the bottom, then do the same to the side and then reduce the stitch size again to finish this basic pattern. So you can make a screenshot here if you like, because this is the basic pattern. So now using the yarn and the plastic canvas, I count eight holes to the top, like I said, poke in from the back side, 
pull it through and then go diagonal to the top in this hole here. Poke in, pull it through, then poke in in hole number seven from the back. like this go diagonal to the top left in this hole poke in in hole number six from the back like this Go diagonal to the top left again. Poke in in hole number five. Like this. To the top left again, now we make four additional parallel stitches like this. This is number two. Number three. And then number four. And we reach the corner. From this point on, we then go to the left. That means we poke in here and do again four parallel stitches this is number one number two Three, and this is number four, and now after this stitch we reduce the stitch size again, which means that we poke in there
Then we reduce the stitch size again. Like this. And one last time. And this is our basic pattern then. So for the next pattern row, we will count again eight uh, holes to the top. Please note which hole is counted as number one here. And from this hole on, you count eight stitches to the top. And from there, you do the very same, like we just did. Then go down four parallel stitches then to the left. Here it is important that the beige and the green thread will be in the same hole. Afterwards you go down four further parallel stitches, then to the left again, then down again, Please note here that this corner stitch is below the last beige one. And then you go to the left again and then you reduce the stitch size. Again I will stay here for a while so that you can make a screenshot. So, we do the same with yarn. Let's count eight holes to the top. Poke in there. Go diagonal to the top left. Poke in in hole number seven again. Go to the top left again. Poke in hole number six. Go to the top left again. hole number five and to the top left again. So now we add additional four stitches, parallel stitches and go to the bottom with them. Like this. And so on. We 
When we go to the left now, one stitch missing. And when we go to the left now, remember that we do the stitches in the same hole like the beige thread. Like this. And as soon as you finished four stitches to the left, you start to go down. So, this is my side part. As you can see, I pull through the loose yarn ends below the stitches so that they are secured. This is the inside of the bag. This is the other side. This is the bottom. And this is the main part where I made the color changes. Like this. Now, before I make the front part, I very, yeah, well, roughly take the measure for the for the lock like this i hold the back together check where it's placed round about and then fix the lock before i start the front part like this no not fixed yet no Check again. Yes, like this. And then fix it. So this is how it looks like when it's fixed. And now you can just go on with the pattern for the front part as well. So the reason why I fixed the lock first was that I worked around it with the pattern now. So I placed the stitches as far below the lock as I could. And in this way I didn't have to poke through the pattern. Now, in the end, I just sew everything together like this. I already made the first two stitches here and as you can see I just poke in in the first side then in the other side and sew everything together in this way like this 
and again poke in in the first side in the second side and so on and you just do that with all the parts of the back So in the end, I only had to fix the D-rings, the top of the lock, and here you can see the edge that we get from sewing. And I made the same once all around the other sides. Well, that's it. I hope you like your new bag. And if you like the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions left, just write a comment and I try to answer everything.